All right, guys, good morning. Uh, today we are going to, I'm gonna yank this peel ply off and I'm gonna prep to actually glue this wave break down. Uh, I shaped the majority of it last night. I did a little bit of touch up this morning off camera, but nothing uh, crazy. It came out pretty well all in all. Just to give you a, a view of that curve there all the way up. And then in the back, it actually tapers down back to the top of the bridge deck as well. How well you can see from here. But uh, yeah, no, it looks good. I'm gonna take the peel ply off. I'll uh, sand the surface underneath it, make sure everything's prepped, ready to go. Sorry. Um, and then uh, from there, I'll mix up some thickened epoxy. We'll set it down. Uh, I've made marks in the front and back on the peak where exactly where it's laying flat. I mean, this thing, aside from just very little pressure in the front to pull that front down, it's laying almost perfectly. Uh, at this point, I'm not sure what we're doing for fiberglass on it. I may do two layers. Um, just for a little bit added, a little bit of added strength. Um, eventually, I'm gonna have to put some sort of a uh, a cleat or an eye on here uh, to be able to hook the winch on the trailer to this somewhere. Um, I'm not sure if I'm just gonna end up doing it on either side of this with U-bolts and then just do a little bridle, or if I should drill a hole through here later and fiberglass uh, something in there to help pull it up onto the trailer. Uh, that's undetermined at this point, but it's not a big deal to modify later. This is what you guys see me doing. I have a line that goes on the side of this, uh, the wave break here, and uh, it's coming up with the peel plot, so I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit as we go here and just kind of remark it. I know exactly where to drop this thing later. Okay. Well, here comes Kathy. She missed all the fun of the peel fly. All right, so before we glue this into place, we have to fill these holes. What happened was when we were gluing the foam on the curve of the bridge deck, uh, we had a three or four layers here actually just slide down on us. Uh, I pushed them out the best I could, but it wasn't enough. Uh, these holes actually do go all the way through. And it's only these three little spots right there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, the Total Boat two to one resin with the fast hardener and uh, I'm probably gonna use a syringe and try to just force it through from one side that'll push all the air bubbles out. Once it comes out the bottom, I'll put a piece of tape on there, fill it right to the top, and then from there, I'll just let it dry for a little while while I go prep the area to glue it down. We are using Total Boat. Um, these guys have been great. Uh, if you guys order from there, use code Dauntless. Uh, I think it's 15% off. Uh, you gotta be on TotalBoat.com, but it's a one-time deal, 15% off. Yeah, that's pretty good. I should be able to syringe that in there, I think. <laughs> so I'm done just making sure it's going all the way through here. Just dripped all the way through. and came all the way through here. Um, I just had some tape. I'm just gonna use some duct tape. I had some good uh, house wrap tape. That stuff sticks phenomenally. Uh, it got lost somewhere in the mess. So for now, we're just gonna use some good old duct tape and try to seal these holes up the best we can.
Pretty good squeeze out all the way across. I definitely got a good adhesion, so. We leave it and uh, we do this maybe. Get some weight on the center at least. So we are getting to the point where we are ready to fiberglass this. Uh, I already sanded the area down. I've uh, got a little bit of filleting to do around the edge. And then we're going to go wet on wet with the fiberglass. So uh, Cassie is about to mix up some resin, some uh, thickened epoxy. And we'll go fill it all the way around the edge. Any little gaps we have, what's left. And uh, then we'll start fiberglassing. Alright guys, so this happened. Uh, we fiberglassed this two nights ago and I didn't come out here yesterday because we had torrential torrential rain. We had almost four inches of rain in the last 24 hours. And uh, apparently this front section got wet and it left this white film on top of all of the resin. So if you look in the front, it's all like a white hazy film. But then in the back, it looks okay. Now everything hardened just fine. Uh, I it, mean, it, it's rock solid. I'm not concerned with that. Uh, my biggest concern would be a delamination problem in the future. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to scrub this down with a, just some regular tap water and a sponge and uh, see, see if this comes up. Uh, I will contact Tom over at Jamestown tomorrow just to see uh, what his recommendations are from here. Um, hopefully we don't have to sand it all out and redo it, you know. Uh, it would really suck, but so yeah, uh, you know, I'm kind of baffled at this point. So, isn't Cassie, and uh, you know, we'll just keep moving forward, I guess. So, do what we can. All right, so we're just gonna use some regular plain tap water and a sponge, 
and it seems to rub off with just your finger. So hopefully this works. It's bringing some of it up. I don't know if soap would help at all. It definitely pulls some of it out. You can see right there. All right, so I did try to wipe this out. I did try adding a little soap to the water and scrubbing it a little bit more, and it's still leaving a hazy residue, but it's definitely coming cleaner. Uh, I just washed that down with some clean water, and I had the bright idea, why don't I try acetone? So we usually clean everything up. And the acetone really took off the uh, that white layer, whatever it was. Ho hopefully, like I said, we can just give it a good wipe down with acetone, sand it up, and uh, we're good to start fairing this. So, fingers crossed, guys. We did end up contacting Tom at Jamestown Distributors and he reassured us that as long as the resin cured, it's fine. And I want to say before it rained, it cured for about 16 hours. Make sure you come back next week to see the start of the Motorwell project. Thanks for watching. Huh? I, I said, here comes Cassie. You missed all the fun of the peel fly. Oh, darn. And Cassie's doing a meet and greet with one of our patrons today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it a putty scraper? For what? I'll just sand it off at this point. Okay. Wow, look what the color's supposed to be. <laughs> I know. That's from walking up and down this thing. <laughs>